Today, we're doing a catch and cook. That's coming up next. A little one there. Oh yeah. We got a little brookie. Here's a little brookie. He's not big enough to eat yet. Look how pretty the bully is. White on the fins. That's a pretty fish. Alright, I'm gonna get my hands right here and let him go down here so I don't scare any fish. All right, we're gonna try this pole again here. Has to be some more in here, maybe a bigger one. There's a little bit bigger one, but still not what we're looking for. There we go. That's a pretty one. Very pretty. All right, I'll let him go. All right, we're gonna try this hole one more time here. And then we'll move upstream. I'm just using uh, little red worms here today. That always seems to work well in these little streams. I don't have no weight or split shots on or nothing like that. Just using the weight of the worm itself to flip it up in there. Well, we had a bite, but I didn't get the hook set. Try it again. Try not to let them bite so long. So I don't want them to swallow the hook. Oh, I think that was a nice one there. He got off. I didn't set the hook on him good enough. Ooh. Yep, you got my whole bait. I'm gonna have to put another worm on. I think there's a nicer fish in there. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna have to start getting my, my own worms. I went and bought these before I come out. These are red worms. 24 of them, $6. 
Six dollars. All right, let's try this again. There's a nice little fish in there. We're gonna get him. It was right over in there. All right, let's see what that does. Oh, there he is. We got him. There he is. Yeah, that's a nicer one. A little nicer fish here. It's going to be seven inches or better. We're going to keep that one to eat. All right, beautiful fish. I hate to kill them, but I usually only kill one or two a year and just to cook them up. And then the rest of the time, if I catch anything, I just let them go. These hooks, I forgot to cut the barbs off before I come out. And I don't like that, because it's hard to get them out. And I forgot my pliers. I usually bring a pair of pliers to help me get these hooks out. There we go. All right, we're gonna keep this one, maybe one more about this size or a little bit bigger, and that's gonna be it. Just enough to cook a couple up. All right. Landed over in there, I think it was good. Ooh, we got one there. I don't know if he's still on or not. Nope, he got off. He got off. Oh, yeah. Now we'll have to bait back up and try it again. Okay, over there, there we go, got him, he's not very big, nice little one here. There we go. Just a little finger length. All right, we're gonna do our catch and cook here. We already did the catching, so now we gotta do the cooking. I brought along some bacon here. I'm gonna get that started before we get our fish ready. All right, we're gonna clean our fish here. And I was just gonna tell you, you 
catch a fish here and you leave it out of the water for a while, this gets nice and tacky and dry. And you can hold and handle this real well as far as gutting it out. But right before I turned the camera on, I was clearing some sticks here and I knocked them in the water. I got them all wet and slimy again. So it's not as dry as I wanted them to be. Because you can really handle these nice once they're dried out a little bit. But it is what it is. Not too bad, I guess. I could cook them with the head on, but I'll take it off. I'll leave that up there for an old coon to come find. He'll like that. There we are. Nice clean fish. I'm going to scrape this out here in the middle here a little bit. And we got a nice flow of water over here. We'll rinse them out real good. Ooh, he's slippy now. Yeah, you get them wet like this, they're getting real hard to handle. So it's best to leave them dry out a little bit and get a little tacky. I'm just cutting some of these fins off here. So I just caught the one that was big enough to keep. All right, we got them cleaned up pretty good there. He'll be ready for the frying pan after that bacon's done. A little pair of tongs here I bought. They come in handy. And we're just sitting here along a little side seep here. The main crick's over that way, a little, probably about 50 yards. A little bit quieter over here. Boy, that bacon sure is looking good. And it's just in time, because I'm about starved. Alright, we're about ready to throw that fish in there. I'll move some of this bacon over. Make some room for it. I think I'm going to eat that piece right there. Alright, let's get that fish on. Get them cooking. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's rolling over for me. Oh yeah, it won't take long to fry that fish up. Nice hot bacon grease. 
That's the best way to cook it. Oh yeah. Oh boy. That sure does hit the spot. You know it was last April. I was doing a catch and cook in the same area here. And I think I was doing gonna do my hundred subscriber giveaway. And here it is a year later. And thanks to you guys, my subscribers and everyone who subscribed to me and been watching my videos. I'm now officially over 1K, and I appreciate every single one of you. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I thank you. So, with that said, I'm going to be doing another giveaway here. It might still be a few weeks or a month, but I'll get to it. But I do appreciate you guys and I'm gonna fix up a nice box there's gonna be all kinds of goodies in there and uh, I'll, I'll make a video here later on show what everything I'm giving away it's just gonna be one giveaway I'd like to do several prizes but it's just gonna be just the one and uh, we'll do a drawing or something and I better get this fish flipped here. So yeah, our fish is looking good there. I just flipped it over, it's nice and cooked on that side, I think pretty good. We'll let her go on the other side for a little bit. So yeah, I get things rounded up here. I look forward to a giveaway here coming up soon. paying attention to my bacon and I'm about overdoing it I don't like crispy bacon bacon and trout you don't think I'm gonna stop there do you I think you guys know me better than that we got a couple hash browns and if I'm hungry after that I got a couple eggs with me. All right, our fish is about done. I forgot to put some seasoning on it. Not that I need it, but I like a little whole bay on it. Try to get a little bit in there. All right, I think we're ready. I'm going to pull that off of there. Got my hash browns here. Yeah, they look pretty good. Got our trout done there. Alright, how's it look? That's our uh, catch and cook. Nice brook trout, hash brown, some bacon. We're gonna get some coffee on there too. There we are. Little brook trout, hash browns, and bacon. A little bit of hash browns here. Skin's peeling right off. That's awesome there. See that? I just threw it on myself. Whether you just take your spork, your fork there and just kind of fork it off. Oh my gosh, that is delicious. 
Look at that white flaky meat. Huh? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? A lot of people don't like trout because of the bones. If you just take your time with it and just pull it right off the bones. Oh, I got a taste of that. Old Bay. Mmm, man. That is delicious. Got some bacon here. What? I got out late again today. It's about two o'clock, I think. Ran up to one stream there. I just couldn't find any nice holes, and the edges were choked down with laurel. And it's hard to get through, and so I ended up coming back out and driving down to this spot here. So we'll be uh, hiking out in the dark again, probably. Mm -mm. Good stuff. Hey, I appreciate you guys coming along on this catch and cook. I appreciate you supporting my channel. And I appreciate all you guys subscribe to me and help me get that 1k I appreciate it I got some good things coming up here hopefully another month or two so thanks for watching and as always we'll catch you on the next one thanks catch you later